Alright, I'm starting off this recording pissed off. Fuck anybody that uses GitHub and is a developer or a programmer for it. So fuck you. I uh, have used GitHub before. I am a piece of shit. Okay. I, okay. Well, that's an unrelated statement. <laughs> I'm going to reel it back a second and say that I'm being facetious. However, like a week or two ago, um, there was like a meme. I saw I saw memes about it on Discord first, and then I saw memes about it on Reddit, where it was this guy who made a post on some programming subreddit, and he was. You might have even seen it. It was a guy being like, You smelly nerds, why do you not uh, have EXEs on GitHub? And everybody was memeing on him, which I get why. But after thinking about it, that guy is fucking right. GitHub sucks ass. I hate that well, fucking website every time. Any, it's like, everybody on Reddit seems to think that it's a website that only developers or programmers use. But no, so many people on the internet fucking link their projects like go to github and the releases page is just off to the side and sometimes like some things don't even have that you need to you have to play i spy with a freaking home page just to find what you want to see and it's like even when you get to the releases yeah. like sometimes you don't even know what the fuck you're supposed to download yeah the problem is it's not built uh with people using like modern technology in mind it's primarily built for people who like use package manager type things where they're like on their stupid Linux computer and like blah, 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 download this and then goes to GitHub and like, you know. But the real the real thing that busts my ass is when you find a project that's like something you need. This is this is something that happened to me a lot when I was trying to do uh, Symfonia modding stuff for GameCube. I had to find all these like obscure ass tools and half the time you'd find one and it'd be like, this is perfect. But then it's like, oh, you have to compile it yourself. Yeah, So that... make sure you download Microsoft Visual C++ 2017. Or things that, okay, I know this isn't a big deal for you, but it is for me. But it's like when a, if a GitHub thing requires that I install a certain version of a Python or something. Yeah. And it's like I have to go into the, um, into either PowerShell or, um, uh, what's the what's the old version of PowerShell command called? Prompt. Either the, uh, PowerShell the command prompt and like there's nothing that's like in the readme like oh if you want to do this then do this. No, everybody just assumes that every all these fucking GitHub shitheads all go around jerking each, jerking each other off. Whoa. They're like oh I know how get all PowerShell where all Windows command line works. Fuck you. I think Roman is right that developers are just psychopaths. I mean, you need to just deal with that. <laughs> I just saved your life and you threw it away again. I'm, I'm sorry, it's it's the, the curse of the turn-based RPG. It's really not my fault. I bet you're dying to use Guild Toss right now. I really am, but I have to resist the urge. This actually, you know what this sounds like? I mean, this is, not, this, is, this is not gonna make sense to the people at home, but the audio quality actually does remind me of the PS1 version of this game. <laughs> with how, with so how shitty it sounds. We're using a Bluetooth mic and it sounds like... It's not, it honestly sounds like we're playing on an old CRT and or like a Game Boy Advance speaker, maybe. Yeah, it's actually kind of like cool, but also I wish I wish we were I wish we were playing on the composite CRT filter. But I don't want to mess up the consistency like we did in X2. Ah, ah stop! Yeah, but I don't stop. Do you have any ideas on how to fix that? It's not like I'm a disgusting person. It's not like it's filled with shit. This 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 is a third party controller. When I plug this PS4 controller into my PS4, the PS4 actually says like this controller is bootleg. <laughs> well, it does a decent job of making it look like. I thought it was official. I so did I, but it definitely isn't. I didn't even, I, I had no idea that the PS4 had a, like, bootleg third-party controller detector until I started using this. <laughs> but no, I have no idea how to fix sticky buttons. We always used to play PS3 <laughs> games with controllers like this where you have to do the X and D input switch. Yeah. And the old 50% the old chance of plugging in your controller and it saying, You've just plugged in a fax machine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The GitHub thing was the main, it was really like what I was itching to complain about. I've been, I've been like fuming over well, this what, for the what past What project month. did you find that was GitHub locked? <laughs> I can't, you know what's fucked up is that I'm bitching so much and I can't even remember a specific project. The next time that I find some GitHub thing, 
I'll, I'll, I'll be sure to let you know about it. It is really weird that the releases are kind of difficult to find if you don't know on GitHub. Considering if you're accessing a GitHub page from a web browser, that's probably definitely what you want. I guess the issue is that GitHub sort of became too big for its own good. Maybe it started as a purely developer thing, but people used it so much that now we're here. Yeah. I don't, I don't necessarily have a problem. I mean, I do have a problem with GitHub. I don't like that website at all, but that's like, that's fine. But it's the fact that people were, were saying like, oh, this, this, uh, this no nothing, like no, this like guy doesn't know anything about programming is using GitHub. What an idiot. No shit people are using GitHub. Do you, do you, do, do people not know that people link to GitHub <laughs> directly now? Do they actually, yeah. do people actually not know? This is a serious question because project users link to GitHub directly now. Get with the program. That's really the main thing that bugged me about it is that I'm mad at other people telling me that I'm an idiot. Get a package manager, LOL, is what people would tell you. I would say- I would kill them. <laughs> I mean, how else do you deal with Linux users aside from chivalry and violence? You don't deal with Linux users. You just cancel all their projects like Steam does. <laughs> I remember reading a thing that was like from a guy, a developer of some indie game who was like, most of our uh, glitch bug reports were from Linux users, compatibility issues, but the Linux user base was like less than 1% of the players. It's literally not worth it to try to like cater to Linux users in the grand scheme of things. Yeah. Sometimes I'll see people who are like, oh man, I just, because they get pissed. Everybody has a moment in their lives where they get so pissed off at Windows that they consider just changing. And so sometimes you'll pe see people who are like, oh, I just set up Linux and man, it's so much better than Windows. And I'm like, give it a fucking week, man. <laughs> when, you, when you try to plug in a second monitor and nothing happens, <laughs> come back to me. I'm not going to say I hate Linux users just because that's... That's, that's kind of mean, even for me, but... Why am I only getting Will-O-Wisp? Because we're pretty low level. I think Linux users, and this, this is probably not an unpopular opinion, I, I think of Linux users as kind of like the computer versions of like atheists or <laughs> vegans, where, you know, if sure. someone is a insert thing here, they will make sure to let you know. Yeah. And it's like, I remember there was this one, I think he was a moderator of one of the subreddits that I visited where he was a Linux user and was not afraid of telling people like, hey, Windows is DRM scum and you are, you should not be using Windows. As if somebody can just like figure yeah. out Linux on their fucking own. Yeah, it's, so, it's like, what do you want me to do about it? <laughs> Honestly, I'm not sure what's worse. People who are like, only use Linux because they're like, Windows is fucking terrorism. Or mm. the people who like stick with Windows 7 forever and then demand that everything be compatible with really old Windows. And yes, as much as I hate to admit it, as much as I'm sure you hate to hear it, Windows 7 is really old now. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, Linux users think that computers should be a certain way, and they're just wrong. They think that everything should be like this open source hodgepodge where everybody has their own little setup where everybody just has to know their own ways of getting around every compatibility issue. So when you see new Linux users and they're like, how do I get this easy thing to work? It's like, run this in your command prompt. And you're like, okay, no. <laughs> I just want it to work like without me having to worry about you giving me a fucking command that's gonna erase my everything. Ah, uh, okay. Oh my god. I'm sorry, I just... I'm leaving. <laughs> Not only is the button sticky, it's fucking loud. Yeah, it is. It sucks. Imagine my shock trying to grind in the sky for 50 hours with that <laughs> button. No wonder you uh, wrote a script for it. I remember um, a year or two ago, Linus Tech Tips did a thing where they did like the Linux challenge where they tried to switch to Linux as their main computer. Because like they're computer savvy obviously so it's like if we can't even figure it out easily then Your regular users user can. fucked for yeah. sure. So basically what happened was 
Linus like s was trying to set up his thing and day one accidentally deleted the operating system. <laughs> what the fuck? And so it was really f funny watching the uh, the saga of him like saying like yeah this sucks and that sucks and everybody on the forum is really unhelpful and fucking egotistical and then people responding who are like well it's your fault because xyz you know what actually this is related i fucking hate i just hate like going to forums in general to see people to see like advice you can say whatever you want about reddit but at least reddit is way more likely to actually give you an answer even if a lot even if the people will still be really yeah pedantic dickheads about it like i've looked up so many things about a uh, vegas pro and like none of the answers have ever come from the official forums because yeah. anytime anytime anyone asks any question the first three responses are what's your graphics card what's your fucking computer what is your yeah. case like it doesn't matter what my goddamn processor is just tell me how to solve my problem it seems like people on reddit are good at being like yeah it's probably that Instead of being like, did you set up the Gahuba flaps first? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. I've seen conflicting information on whether the ancient sword actually works correctly or not. What it's supposed to do is inflict old, but what I read that it does once was that it just inflicts agility down, which does nothing to enemies. But apparently that's not true. At the very least, they fixed it in Pixel Remaster. But I, I don't know. It's really hard to find out consistent information. Like, for uh, when we made the video on this game, I said that Berserk was 25% damage up. Apparently it's 50. I don't know where I learned it was 25, but I do remember reading 25. Maybe I read it for a different game accidentally. I think these guys are actually undead. <laughs> They're zero for metal, I thought. Blood is something, something water. <laughs> blood, blood is dot 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 water. Yeah. Bracket dot dot dot. Official FL Studio forums. Not only is it always unhelpful, but also if you're not logged in, then you aren't even allowed to see like past the first like five words of the post. Wow, that's. I didn't think it was possible to be worse. It's because sites like this are just so fucking stuck in the past. Where it's like, oh, make an account. In a world where every fucking website is like, just just use Google. <laughs> just sign in with your Google account because. And now you can't even really anymore. do that. Yeah, whatever happened to Open ID? I'm right. Oh, oh my, my god. god, I have never seen this before. What the? I have nothing. Let's just run away. Wait, I could break a s sweat. I have never break seen an encounter with six enemies before. Unless we don't have any. That is we really, they really of... plagiarized that exact skeleton for RPG Make. Die. <laughs> Did that exact same thing when we played the game last. <laughs> okay, we got Mog from FF6. <laughs> I wish. A new but... DLC character. He comes with the best armor in the game because that's how DLC works. You ever played Monster Hunter World Iceborne? Just get that free end game armor and just completely trivialize oh, yeah. the game. I totally forgot about that. Wait, didn't we not use that? I, or maybe we... I I tried to not use it for a while, but I I had to because I suck at Monster Hunter. Um, I, I don't remember. Oh, nice. I do remember actually. Just kidding. A few days ago, Yuzu got sued. I'm sure you heard about this. Yeah. Yeah. I... It was either Yuzu or some other emul Nintendo emulator that recently Somewhat recently, people discovered that they were using like actual encryption keys, and people were like, well, if Nintendo finds out about that, you're fucked. So I wonder if that had to do with it. It might have been related. I was definitely on the side. I mean, I don't I don't like when emulation gets like taken down for obvious reasons, but I was definitely like on the side of Yuzu until I found out they had a Patreon that was getting a whole bunch of money. And also, they were like going out of their way to tell people, like, "Hey, we got Tears of the Kingdom a few, uh, a few, like a week or something early." Oh, really? And I was like, "Why did you paint this gigantic mortar target on yourself? You are so fucked." Yeah. And also, I mean, obvious. There's also the fact that the Switch is still being fucking sold. Our PCS3 is smart because. When you go to their website, they make it really clear that piracy is frowned upon and stuff. Plus, the PS3 is from 2006, not 
right now. Yeah, 2006 was 30 years ago. Feel old yet? No. Okay, now I do. Okay. I mean, it's it's a shame, but just it just happens. And I'm, you know, people pick up the slack on GitHub, which is where we <laughs> won't go. <laughs> so really, we fucked ourselves. Thanks a lot, Yuzu, you piece of shit. Actually, tangentially piece. to that, apparently the same people that made Yuzu made Citra, and Citra also got taken down, which mm. does suck. The next few things I've got to talk about are probably things I've talked about tangentially before, so if there's repeat dialogue I apologize in advance. So Idol Showdown, which is that fan-made Hololive VTuber fighting game, it's really well made. I have nothing bad to say about the game, like, in general, but it does have that I made a character move set for Professor Layton. His up smash is that he summons blah blah blah. <laughs> like, the, the fact that every character... His up smash forces your opponent to solve a puzzle that you create <laughs> with the stylus. <laughs> It's up smash does that? It's up smash does all of that, yeah. <laughs> so you're saying the characters in the game are built like that? Yes, it, it because the game is just references, yeah. like constantly, every character is just like it it's I'm mostly saying this because it's fucking hard to watch that game because yeah. so much shit is happening constantly. I feel like people worry that like if every single move a character has isn't some kind of reference and it's like the player will think why am i even playing as this character because like in smash brothers most of the character's moves aren't anything like yeah they're just punches and kicks but the fact that you're playing as the character is you know 90 percent of the mental satisfaction yes if, if ness's up smash fucking was like did the some crazy earthbound ass animation they would just be like hard to look at i thought you're gonna start complaining about the game's community or something to be honest that was my prediction no i i mean i don't i stay away from vtuber fans just because you know how otakus and weeaboos are I know what I'd be getting into there. The game is very well made, I can't deny that. Um, Bards. My Bards, but... But yeah, it definitely, do, it definitely does kind of feel like a game that was made by, like, Smash players who really wanted their custom character in Smash. I don't think it was the first, but one of the first custom characters for Smash Ultimate to get traction was a custom moveset for Alucard from Symphony of the Night. And like, even his fucking, just everything is just like an animation taken from, from Symphony of the Night, even if it doesn't really fit the input that it's on. I was just watching some Street Fighter V, and that game is hilarious. The fact that every round takes like seven centuries is so fucked up. And it's like completely the opposite of what it used to be. The game was really known for its like super fast and like explosive rounds. They had an they had a whole patch dedicated to just buffing everyone's health and stun. Whatever, die. Power. Yeah, I would not give that to her. I, every the only classes that can't equip the power armlet are the classes that would want it, like samurai, knight, monk. Oh my god, we actually have MP, dude! I cannot tell you how nice it is to actually be able to use magic spells more than one. Ah, I turned my carrot right around. <laughs> That's a Persona Five <laughs> yeah, navigator quote. Joker, you turned that carrot around. Way to go. Why do you have such a specific quote for those? 